Hey guys, David the Autosation here. I've got another review for you of the 511 All Hazards Prime Backpack. It retails for about $180 to $200, depending on where you buy it from. It's available in three different color options, sandstone, urban gray, and black. My particular version is in uh, sandstone, and there are a few unique features of this bag that set it apart from other backpacks that are available on the market. The first being the helmet holder that's uh, built into the backpack. The second being molly webbing on the inside of the backpack, and the third being a secret compartment. So this is the 511 All Hazards Prime Backpack in Sandstone, like I said. The outside does feature uh, a bit of molly on the outside as well as a velcro panel where you can add you know, different patches, flags, unit patches, name tapes, etc. First feature I want to show you is one of those unique features which is the helmet holder. So this outer bag uh, or this outer pouch from separates from the main body of the bag uh, via these straps right here which are releasable and so this is just you know a standard half helmet for the motorcycle uh, I don't like leaving this out on my bike when it's on the street when I go out because I don't want it to get dropped or stolen uh, as they do run a little bit expensive so you can see they don't or with the helmet in there it doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to the backpack itself and it protects it very nicely because there is some fleece lining on the inside of the bag to keep it from scratching up your, your helmet. This main, uh, or the, the outer pouch from sep or separated from the bag is just a pretty general purpose pouch. You can put whatever you want in there. I wouldn't suggest putting anything too fragile in there as there's not a whole lot of padding between you know, the outside of the bag and what, your, or what item you have on the inside. The first or, and or the second main pouch of the outer pouch of the bag is going to be kind of like a general purpose, um, you know, pens and that kind of stuff where you could put in a small, um, you know, notebook or folder. You could put some paper in here. Uh, there is a little bit larger space that goes all the way down to the bottom. You could fit a small tablet in there if you wished. Uh, there are spaces for pens, markers, a uh, little bit oversized. You know, um, pouches if you want to throw in like a flashlight or a Gerber or something, uh, that's up to you. I have made a few modifications to this bag when it comes to the zipper pulls. This is kind of the normal uh, standard what you're going to see from the factory. About a two inch strip of nylon uh, with a little leather band at the top. I have cut most of those off <clears throat> and replaced them with some paracord loops. I did that just because it makes it easier to open fast or if you're wearing gloves on, especially if you need to get some, to something quickly. The top does feature uh, a Velcro strip where you can, or where it's the perfect size for a name tape, if that's something you want to do. And then the second kind of main, or uh, unique feature of this bag is this next pouch that I'm going to show you. So this is the first one of the main body of the backpack. So as you can see, it opens up 180 degrees, and inside, Towards the body side, there's some molly woven into the backpack itself, which allows you to add all sorts of different holsters and pouches, you know, whatever you need to put in here. Um, I just run a general purpose pouch, and then I have a molly compatible holster in here, which is perfect for you guys that um, you know, are at school or at a job where you can't conceal your weapon on your body. Whether that be to your uniform, or you know you, you have to tuck your shirt in, or you're worried about printing, or, or whatever the case may be, um, this is a great option to have. I have my Smith and Wesson M&P 2.0 45 in there. Fits perfect. I don't have to worry about it printing. My backpack always stays close to me, uh, so I, I can keep my firearm with me without having to worry about you know it accidentally getting exposed uh, to somebody that doesn't need to see it. The outside, or the the outer side. Uh, does feature these rip away, these rip away Velcro mesh uh, bags. There are two of them. Uh, the second one is identical to this first one. It's super easy to open. Decent amount of space in there. They attach by Velcro. Super easy. I just have repur or repurposed this in another bag that I'm using right now. Um, but I like to carry a little bit of medical gear with me in the event that I run up on an accident or incident where somebody needs some help. I just got, I, can, I have the ability to carry some gear with me. So all the main pockets of this bag do have grommet holes installed in the event that you're in a water environment. Um, 
you don't have to worry about you know, water getting into your backpack and bogging you down, uh, which is a super nice feature, and I wish more backpacks had that built in. The top of the bag does feature a eyeglass pouch. It's fleece lined, so you don't have to worry about um, your expensive sunglasses getting all scratched up, or you know you don't have to carry the you know the giant pouch that they come in you know with like with the Oakleys. The sides of the bag do have Molly on them. I you, so you can add whatever pouches you want. I personally just run a Benchmade uh, seatbelt cutter tool on this side. Um, you can put whatever. I like the. I've seen people run like the Camelback hydration water bottle pouch, whatever. Um, those fit perfectly on here, and the color doesn't matter or matches pretty well. Uh, it does have some Velcro strips up top. Uh, I haven't really found what the use for those. They're a little bit too small to put, you know, like a flag on there. Um, it just doesn't have enough enough hold. I'd be worried about it getting ripped off, um, and it's not quite big enough to. You know, run like a you know, morale patch or unit patch on the sides of your bag. I can't figure out why they they put that in the design. The main body of this backpack is pretty standard. Um, you know, as with most backpacks, you know, like I said, there's a drainage hole in the bottom or a drainage grommet, and it's got a laptop holder in the back and just a small document holder at the front. There is a hydration bladder carrier built into the backpack at, on the body end, which is just up here. Velcro pouch goes all the way down, uh, and there's a hole in there that you can run your hydration tubing out of. I've never run a hydration carrier in my backpack. Uh, it's just a lot of extra weight for something that I can carry a small water bottle. You know, that suits my needs perfectly. But if you need it, that's an option available to you. I did find that if you run like a soft armor ballistic panel, or like a ballistic insert panel, it fits perfectly in that pouch. I know that's something that a lot of people are starting to do with their everyday carry, or you know whether you're going to school or whatever to your job. Uh, in the wake of all these mass shootings, you know people are starting to add ballistic protection to their everyday carry setups. Um, the last kind of unique feature to this bag over other bags out on the market is that secret pouch that I was talking about. So, and that's located on the third bag. So if you look over here, uh, see this little tab? This can be tucked away. It's a little bit of paracord. Um, yeah, if you tuck this away, you can't really see anything or you wouldn't necessarily know that there's anything there. But it does open up about halfway down the backpack and you can store whatever you want in this compartment without having to worry about it printing, just due to the fact that there's a very good amount of padding between the outside and the inside of this compartment. Um, the shoulder straps are awesome, they're super wide, uh, they've got some quick release buckles on the bottom, and they've held up perfect. Like I said, I've had this bag for about five to six years or so, I've used it quite a lot. You can see a little bit of signs of wear, but nothing major has failed. Uh, I'm not worried about any of the stitching the straps or the zippers at all. None of them have given me any problems ever. So that was a pretty brief overview of the 511 All Hazards Prime backpack. I would highly recommend this bag to anybody that needs to carry a little bit more equipment than just a standard backpack. Um, this can be used for as like a 24 hour bag or you know, get to my car bag. I wouldn't say it's necessarily big enough to use as a bug out bag, uh, but you are able to hold a lot of equipment and gear and items in this backpack without having too much bulk. If you thought this review was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you very much.